Yay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to clean that up. Thanks to CuriosityStream and Nebula for sponsoring part of this video. Today is my 30th birthday, which is kind of amazing considering that I started making videos on this channel when I was 19. I'm not ready to be 30 yet. I, I've always thought when you were a kid that someone who was 30 was A, old, and B, had their stuff together, like they knew what they were doing, like more than I currently do. Spoiler alert, if you are still 19 and you may still think that, Every adult is making it up as they go along. Everyone is literally living the phrase, fake it till you make it. Hello. I've been blessed in the studio by Jasmine. I think I figured that by the age of 30, I'd have a family, but I didn't quite imagine it'd be like this. I get emails and messages on Discord all the time asking for advice on different topics to do with studying or life in general. And so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to kind of condense all the advice I could give down into one video. And because the internet, we need a gimmick. So let's do this as 30 things I have learned in 30 years. Firstly, work less to get more done. This was particularly true when I was at uni, but I found that if you actually push yourself to the absolute limit at all times, you, surprise, surprise, burn out, and you get more done overall if you just take a more sustainable attitude towards work. So work hard, yeah, but build in time into your schedule for relaxation and, you know, staying sane. Secondly, stuff won't get done until you do it. This may seem completely trivial, but I don't know, for me, that's kind of a powerful message to remind myself that that thing that's on my to-do list, it's gonna stay there until I do it. So do it. Love is a verb, not a state. You love someone when you do things to help them because you care about them. It's not just a question of sitting back and saying, oh yeah, I love that person. If you're lucky enough to still have your parents or guardians still be alive, then call them, you know, like once a week. You owe them a lot and they really do appreciate it. Mental health is just as important as your physical health, and the two are completely licked. Take actions to make sure you're looking after both of them. Thin your paints. Two thin coats is better than one thick coat. The great Bob Ross was spot on when he said that talent. Talent is a pursued interest. In other words, anything that you're willing to practice, you can do. Proper preparation prevents piss poor performance. Before investing in anything else, invest in a good pair of shoes and a good mattress. Because you're going to spend two thirds of your life on one or the other. So you may as well be comfortable. Nobody will be remembered forever. Instead of chasing immortality, which I think I did a lot of when I was a kid, just make the biggest difference that you can here and now. The privilege or misfortune of where and to whom you are born determines so much of your potential in this world. Societal privilege is real and very unjust. Always check your units. Don't be like me and buy an 18 by 24 centimeter poster frame for your 18 by 24 inch poster. Incidentally, if you like the poster, you can buy it at my merch store in the description. Frequently review your goals and your progress towards those goals and be specific about what you're trying to accomplish at any given time. Praise in public, admonish, in private. One of my all-time favourite quotes is that we are all prisoners of our previous reference points. A person isn't able to imagine something until they know that it's possible, that it even exists. You should always expand your horizons and set new references. Clear communication is key to basically everything, but particularly relationships. Nothing improves the world more than widespread education. This one may be specific to me, but you can't make QGPV from Ertel PV. Just make your own from temperature and velocity data. Seriously, you'll save yourself a year and a half of your life. Another statement that might seem completely trivial and banal, but I think is really true. Doing must come before wanting to do. Take the time to learn how to wash up properly. Wash your glasses and things like sieves first, put your cutlery at the bottom of the bowl, and then work through stuff in order from least to most dirty and you will save yourself so much time. You don't need to keep that Tupperware. You have enough, put it in the recycling. The soul needs music like the body needs food. Make time for both, consume widely and find your tastes. I will never be as good as other people at doing things, but I don't need to be better than them. I just need to be better than I used to be. 
Don't watch Yesterday. It is a terrible, terrible movie that wasted its potential. Yes, I am still angry about this. It's so bad. Just because someone is older than you, that doesn't mean that they know better than you. Adults are just really good at looking like they know what they're doing. Trust the data, but verify the source. Listen to more David Bowie. Somebody on Patreon told me that people need more David Bowie in their lives, and I took their advice, and my life's been better. Identify how you're spending time on your phone and remove apps that are just a time and energy sink. One of the best things I ever did was removing Twitter, Reddit, and YouTube Studio from my phone. I feel so much more free. If in doubt, just ask yourself, what would Captain Picard do? And lastly, support the things you love. One of my favorite YouTube channels is David Bull, who makes high quality Japanese wood block prints in traditional method. I really love his videos, so I bought one of his prints. It's one of my favorite possessions. The Astartes mini series is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. As soon as I watched it, I went to Patreon and pledged money to help the creator make more episodes. Creative industries rely on people saying, I really like this thing and I want there to be more of it in the world. And the way that you help there be more of it in the world is by supporting that artist. If you like, if you value online educational video, then the best way you can support it is by signing up to Nebula. Nebula is a streaming service that is run by a coalition of a huge number of educational YouTubers. There's a load of them on the screen. This is a platform that we have total control over. So there are no ads whatsoever. There's no algorithm, which means that there's no fancy suppression of particular topics by the website. Because here's the thing about YouTube, it encourages creators to play it safe. Because the algorithm can suppress or lift up videos, you are encouraged to stay in your lane and keep making the same kind of content. On Nebula, creators are so free to experiment and make new and better kinds of content. By signing up to Nebula, you not only get access to videos earlier than on YouTube, but you also directly support the work of educators like me and other people like Tirzu, Legal Eagle, Lindsay Ellis. But not just that, because at the moment we have a limited time deal working with Curiosity Stream. So Curiosity Stream is kind of the other end of the educational spectrum online. While Nebula is about individual creators making individual projects, Curiosity Stream is about the highest production value, the best documentary series on the internet. So on the one hand, you have people like 12 Tone and Draw Curiosity. And on the other hand, you have people like David Attenborough and Chris Hadfield. At the moment, if you sign up for Curiosity Stream, you get Nebula thrown in and you get more than 25% off. That's right, 26% off. That works out at less than $15 for an entire year of access to the best documentaries online and the section of YouTube that you already watch, but with no ads, early access, and extra content. So go down there to the link in the description, sign up for Curiosity Stream, and get Nebula thrown in for 26% off, and support online educational video. Your support via Nebula makes such a difference in making all of this possible and making future content even better. Thank you so much for watching the video. It took 30 years to make, and I hope that there was at least some value to it. Let me know in the comments how old you are and what the best piece of advice is that you could give to someone based on all of your years of experience. And that could be you being 10 or being 100. I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Here are some suggestions of stuff to watch next. And that just leaves me to say thanks. I'll see you in the next one. Oh my God, I'm 30.